So you filmed your videos horizontally and you'd like to use them vertically for social media and you're really not sure how to convert them. Well, today we're gonna to show you how to convert your videos from horizontal to vertical for free using CapCut for Windows. It's really simple to do, so let's dive into it. All right, so here we are on my Windows desktop. If you don't have CapCut already, you can download it for free from capcut.com. There's a download for Windows icon here, and that's what we're gonna be working with today. Now you will need to log in to CapCut, either with Gmail, Facebook, or create an account in order to work with the software properly and export the project. But again, it is totally free. You can see I'm logged in here in the top corner. Now, once you've got this loaded up, you'll see all your projects that you've worked on here, but there is an option that says start creating right here. You can go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna load up CapCut for you to begin your project. Now, I happen to have a couple of videos here on my desktop over on the left-hand side, and we'll have a quick look at them. They're just video footage from a recent trip we did to Cabo, and I wanna kinda of merge these together and create a vertical video, um, maybe for social media or something like that. So there's three of them there. The third one here is just of some waves. Um, so we'll put them all together and we'll create one vertical video out of these three horizontal videos. Now you don't have to have multiple video clips. You can do this with one, but we'll show you how to do it with multiple today. So the first thing we need to do is import those video files into CapCut. You can click on import here and search for them on your computer, or you can just highlight them all and drag and drop them right into this area here in CapCut, that's gonna import them into the video editor for you. Now the next thing we need to do is bring our video clips from where we imported them down into our timeline. So just go to your video clips here at the top and when you hover over it, you'll see a little plus sign. You can left click on that and it's gonna drop it down into the timeline here down below. Now, if we do wanna play that and watch it here in our player, you can see this is 16 by nine. And again, we're trying to make this vertical. You can hit the little play button here or use your space bar to play it. And maybe I just want a few seconds of that. So I'm gonna just pause it where I want it. And you can actually trim this a little bit. You can hover over each end and you can actually trim it in a little bit. So I'm gonna just hover over that, hold down my left mouse button and drag it in a little bit. So now we just have a shorter piece of that clip that we're gonna use. Just like that. And let's drop down the other clip as well. So you can, again, hit the plus sign or you can drag it down. Let's just find a spot here and hit play. And I'll pause it there and I'll trim off the end. And I'll do the same thing with the third one here. We'll drag that down or hit the plus sign and we'll hit play, see where we wanna stop that. Just wanna let that wave crash there. go I'll pause it right there and I'm gonna trim this in the end like that so now we've got our three clips in a row and again they are all horizontal so let's go ahead and make this all vertical now up here at the top under your video player you'll see a little option for myself it says original for you it might say original or 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 um, or other options as well just go ahead and left click on that this is gonna give you a whole bunch of different options that you can change your video orientation to. So right now it's set to original for myself. Again, there's 16 by nine, there's four by three. Down here at the bottom, there are a bunch of vertical format types. So there's nine by 16, that's the one we're gonna use today. There's three by four, which is kind of a wider vertical format. And there's also a one by one, which might be more of an Instagram video format. So a square video format. We're gonna go ahead and switch that to nine by 16, giving us a full vertical format. Now you might be saying, hey, my video is in there, but it's all shrunk down. I want it all zoomed in. Let's go ahead and show you how to fix that right now. So as we scrub through our video, you can grab the little white line here and move back and forth. You can see all of those clips are kind of zoomed in to fit into that vertical video. Let's go ahead and select our first video clip down here. We'll just left click on it. And you can see it puts a white box around the clip. And it also puts a white box around the clip up here. And it gives you four little white dots of handles. So what we can do is left click on one of these handles and hold down the mouse button. And it's gonna allow us then to drag our video 
out just like this. So we can drag it out right till we get to the edges. It kind of snaps in place once you do that. And then we can let go. Now you might be saying, well, that's not the portion of the video that I wanted in my vertical video. No problem. What you can do then is left click and hold down your mouse button on the clip and then you can move it to the side. So maybe we want the front of the boat just like that. We can just move it to the side and you can see it's moving the clip over and then we'll let go. So now when we play that clip, let me just hit play here, you can see that the portion of the video we want is taking up the full vertical frame. Now we have to do that with each of our clips here. So let's go ahead and select the second one. And again, we're gonna hold down our mouse button on one of these corners and drag it all the way out and it kind of pops into place. And I'd like the Cabo arch to be the focal point on that one. So um, we can do that. Let's play that. And you can move that back and forth as you need to. And then the same thing we'll do this with the wave as well. So I'll left click on my clip down here and then we'll drag this out. And I think I'd like the mountain to kind of be on the left, just like that. So we can see all the wave again, we'll hit play. And we'll be able to see our wave crashing there, just like that. So we've got all our clips together. Now we just need to export our video. Now, one other thing I should mention is up here in the top left hand corner, it says auto saved CapCut auto saves your project for you. So you don't need to worry about that. So let's go ahead and export this. Just go up to the top right hand corner where it says export here. You can go ahead and left click on that. It's going to give you a bunch of options for your export. So the first one here, title of work, I'm just going to rename it here. You can name it whatever you like. I'll call this one Cabo vertical. The next one down, it says export to, this is the location of where your project is going. You'll see a little file folder here. You can left click on that, search your computer for where you'd like your um, video project to go. I'm going to select my desktop here and we'll hit select folder. And down here you can select your export setting. So uh, this is 1080p footage that I'm using. I'm going to leave that one on 1080p. You can go all the way from 480p to 4k in your projects. The bit rate right here, I like to leave this one on higher. There's also lower and recommended. Um, that's just going to give you a better image quality. The codec, I like to leave this one on H.264 the format MP4, and then you can select your frame right here from 24, 25, 30, 50, and 60. I'm gonna put this one on 30. That would be a very common frame rate that we, people would use. 24 would be more of a cinematic frame rate. So once you've got that all done there, down here at the bottom, it says export, and the speed of your export is gonna change depending on how big of a project you're doing and how fast your computer is. Mine's already done here. Um, I've got a pretty quick computer. so. Um, you can just hit export there. We'll hit okay. And let's go find our video. It should be on my desktop here. So I'll minimize this. It's right there. It says Cabo vertical. And there it is. The video clips are all combined together. And the wave. And it's all in a vertical format for you to share on social media or do whatever you like with it. So hope this tutorial gave you value in converting your horizontal video to vertical video using CapCut for free. If it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.